Well, it, trans is a very broad subject. I could speak about it for like hours if, if we have the time. But uh, first of all, there's several categories of trends. If, if, within the design category, there are several categories down there. Uh, color trends is one thing. Material trends is another thing. Uh, there's also experience trends or emotional trends, like how do you want to feel in that environment? Uh, so th all of these are different trends. The good thing about the color trends, they actually touch upon all of the above. Color trends can be incorporated into materials. They can be incorporated into the experience or the emotional uh, side of the design uh, idea. Uh, also, they can be an important part of like, you know, the physical uh, identity of the environment. So. Uh, trends are one of those things that also you have to be very careful because you want to make sure that you're working with a lifestyle trend, not necessarily like a fad where something like it's just cool in and out, but lifestyle has more longevity, especially in our industry. We want things to last a little longer than a couple of years. So, you know, just kind of be understanding like what trends are important for you, what's important for your client as well. One of my favorite trends currently is what they call customization or personalization where people are creating environments specifically for them. Uh, it's not about a specific color use or specific material use. It's really about more of the function and the experience they want to incorporate in that environment. And I, for me, that probably would be my favorite trend to follow is following an experience versus an, a look.